Hello, welcome to Tech Tips with Casey by Fairwinds Teaching. Today's video is about PlayPosit for educators. First thing you're going to do is go to go.playposit.com. After you click on the sign up button, I always use sign in with Google, but there are lots of different single sign on options. Also, you can just fill out your name and all of your information. Once you are all signed in, you will go ahead and see you have your profile up here. The first thing I'm going to have you do is add your students. I go ahead and just use the sign on link. So you're going to go up here to classes, click on the classes button. And I've created one that's called Miss Kaiser's third grade. So we're going to go ahead and click on create new class. You're going to name it. So it might be your science class for the day. I always make sure I have my name in the class and then you can pick a different color. I'll go with teal and press save. Then when you click into that class, you're going to go over to the learners button. When you click on learners, you want to click on add learners. If you already have a Excel spreadsheet or something that you can download and manually add your students easily, then go for that. But I usually just grab my class URL code. So go ahead and click the code here and it's already copied the text. Now you will be able to paste this wherever your students access their links, whether it be Schoology, your Google Classroom, or sending them an email. I'll show you what the student view looks like and how they join your class. Once you've linked it into your class, whether it's Schoology or Google Classroom or just sending a link in an email, this is linked in my Sandbox account. Once you've clicked on your link, join Ms. Geyser's PlayPosit class, it'll take you to the same screen. The students will then use that personalized link to sign up themselves. I always have my class sign up through Google Sign In, but have your class sign in how they normally do. Once they sign in, it will tell them that they've successfully joined the class and continue. They'll go ahead and click continue and they will be a part of your class now. Now every time they do their assignment, their data will show up as their first and last name and they, they will be able to see any of the bulbs that you assign them. Enjoy play pause it. Thank you for watching Tech Tips with Casey by Fairwinds Teaching. Make sure you like and subscribe down below.